Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Global Chess Shop. So this is an amazing plugin which adds auctions, um, player shops and admin shops to your Minecraft server. So it's really configurable, there are many different types of shops as you can see here. I'm going to go through them and then show you how to make them. So first of all, let's start with the uh, basic sign shop and this is an admin version. So if I grab myself another sword here, um, we can actually buy and sell swords using this awesome GUI and here's our money um, and we can also edit it and exit so let's sell it for ten dollars and it will disappear and then we will be brought back to the GUI and we can exit so that's um, pretty straightforward if we go into this end of chess shop which is one item only there are three different types of shops there's one item multiple and all items so it's pretty straightforward if we go into the admin shop we can buy and sell um, we need a bit of money so let's sell two of them so the anvil, pretty cool. If you shift left click, it stacks it. If you shift right click, it goes back to zero. And obviously if you left click and right click, it will go up and down. So if we set it at two, and we're gonna sell two of them for 800. Yes. And off they will go. And then uh, our money has gone up. And then we, we can also um, go on our history and we've got a couple of active ones uh, and we have we can check our sold and bought auctions, which is really, really cool. So um, next we are moving on to the item frame shop. Very similar, works in a similar way. Uh, you can buy and sell bits and bobs here. So it's done and sword again. And then we move on to the hollow shop, which requires the holographic displays plugin. And obviously NPC requires citizens. If you right click this, this is a shop with every item. So um, players want particular building blocks they can go in here and uh, look for any that are for sale so uh, if we were to look for stone there aren't any uh, for sale at the moment on auction um, but if we go on to page two there is this item which I created earlier uh, made by me and it was made 40 minutes ago and that is the price 14,000 pretty expensive um, here is a similar shop which works in the same way it's every item and you players can look through it and um, see all of the player shops and admin shops there so if we go back and back again and exit and this is an ender shop ender chest shop similar to this one but this is all items um, as well and this test shop what's this uh, it's the golden apple so let's sell eight of them we don't really need eight um, like that we can check our money and we will get a lot more there we go nice that was actually quite cheap um, so yeah, and over here we have some user created shops. So this is my one. It's got my head spinning around on the top. Really nice feature, really like that. And as I said earlier, I created these. Um, so over here, my other account created lots of different bits and bobs here. Uh, let's find a particularly cheap one. There isn't there, all quite expensive. Let's go with TNT. So um, if you click on it, um, we can check our money. We've got enough and you can buy it. And Either yes or no. Yes, there we go. So, um, as you can see, this plugin works extremely well. Um, got no errors, errors, no problems with it. And let's get into how to set it up. So, uh, yeah. First of all, let's do um, an NPC shop. So, on this green bit of wall, what we're going to do, we're going to do NPC create followed by a name. So, you can use color codes, which is really awesome. And we are going to call it uh, Donator Shop. Or something. Um, yeah, let's just go with that. Donate to shop. And hit enter. Unless you want to change the type of animal. So you could make it a sheep. A coloured sheep. Because Citizens um, has that. Or something else. So we're going to call it. Uh, what we're going to call it. We're going to have it as a sheep. There we go. And that will make donate to shop sheep. But uh, it's not a shop yet, what we need to do, we need to slap down the sign and write global shop on the top line. Click done and this will pop up with a GY. Now if you click NPC shop, it has detected one, so that's why there isn't a zero. So if we click this, it can't uh, find it. If we click this, we can create either a shop with all items, multiple items or only one item. So let's create a TNT shop and we're going to drag it in here like that and obviously we'll get the item back once we hit OK. So this is going to be um, 
maybe an admin shop. Yeah, nice. So create shop. The sign will be destroyed, and um, that will be our shop like that. Uh, and then we can edit it. So um, I'll show you how you can edit it over here using my test shop. Um, so if you click edit admin shop, you can uh, change the price using this awesome GUI. Um, so you can even make it free, which is uh, pretty crazy. Um, pretty nice features. So using this, you can change it by a pence or 10 pence or a pound, 10 pounds, 100 pounds and 1,000 pounds. So you can get the exact price which you want. So let's go back uh, to 50, 150. And take off 0 0.01 and there we go. So sell price is $150. Great. And uh, the buy price, let's make that a bit more, 400. Perfect. You can also disable um, buying it, which is uh, really cool. So people can only sell it. And uh, it's enabled or disabled. So that's another cool feature. And we're going to save all the changes. Yes, we are. So very, very cool. And as you can see, it's changed. We can only sell uh, golden apples. So let me grab some and prove to you that it does work. Right click, uh, mount, so shift, left click to get 64. Sell. And yes, we're going to be in the money. 9,600. Fantastic. We've got a lot more money now. That's very, very cool. So let's create a hollow shop now. Works in a very similar way. Uh, you don't actually need to put anything down for this. So if we uh, put a block down, put a chest, um, put a sign on top of the block, and type in global um, shop again, hit done, and then select hollow shop. And we're going to create one with uh, all items this time. And this is going to be um, arranged via um, creative categories or per player. Let's do per player. I haven't done that one yet. And you can create it. You can... Um, delete the block beneath and it will be at a good height so uh, that's pretty cool and if we right click it this instead of showing us all the items like this one does if we right click this one uh, and people have to go through it and there might not be items in there uh, this is the much more efficient method of making a shop as players can see ah LT Gym has set up two shops and we can uh, actually see what he's put in them which is really, really cool and players can exit and go back and see what they want to buy which is very very cool uh, now we are moving on to item frames so uh, similar to the NPC we actually need to put one down prior to using the command and uh, putting the sign down so slap the sign down global shop done and then item frame shop and you can choose which one you want uh, I'm gonna go with mm, multiple items we haven't done that one yet and we can create new categories so um, what we're going to do first is choose the item that res represents the category. So TNT, I've got that in my inventory, why not? And then you can choose the name and you can type that into chat. Pretty cool method. Um, you can see we've got blindness and we're going to type something. Um, explosives, yay. And that will be the name. And yeah, and then you can click create. We have them here. Obviously, you can create multiple. Uh, so let's shove some glass in there. And name, uh, glass, like that. And create. So very, very easy to create categories. Um, so yeah, let's select explosives. And it's going to be all our auctions by players. And you can create it. And uh, the awesome thing is, depending on which shop you create and what item you use, that will be the uh, item in the item frame. So let me get rid of that a second. We can right click it and nobody is selling explosives at the moment, which is really annoying. Um, really unfortunate. Uh, let me grab an ender chest, pop it down and show you that it works in the same way. If you do global shop, hit done, select ender chest, uh, all items for example, and per player, create shop. And that is the easiest one. You can also delete them. Um, so if you did that by accident, you can click exit and do that. You can also, uh, sh by hitting shift and right click and chest, you can uh, put it on the front, which I think looks much better. Global shop and uh, enter chest, all uh, per player, enter, there we go. Very, very nice. Uh, so if I delete this shop, yes, and create a new one, 
and we're going to use uh, different multiple items this time. So, uh, ender chest, yes, multiple items, glass, um, and only admin shops only. And it's got a new item on top, so players know what um, the shop is about, which is really, really cool. So let me just check that I have shown you most of the shops. Yes, I've shown all of them, except for the local shop. And that is one the players should be able to create uh, using a chest. So here we go, here's a chest. Shift, right click, and type local shop on the top line. Hit enter, and your face should pop up on top. And the uh, sign should change into green and look very, very nice. So if you right click the head, uh, it will pop up with everything that you're auctioning. So what you can do from here is check your auction history, which is really nice, or create a new auction. So um, what are we going to auction? Well, let's get rid of some of this lapis, and you can choose how much you want, um, and you can drag it in here, so we can drag a bit more in if we wanted, um, or exit to choose a, a bigger amount. So create, what do we want? We want... Um, 48 there we go so put it in there hit next and now we can obviously change the price so the price is per block not per stack so um, how much is it at the moment 100 so 100 times 48 that's quite expensive 4,800 um, let's put that down a bit it's free at the moment so maybe put it up to 12 and there we go so hit enter and it will tell us um, hopefully at the end there we go. So they are £12 each, and the total price for 48 is £576. And if my other account comes along now, you should see him flying about. There he is. And if he right clicks my chest shop and clicks the lapis block, he's going to buy it. Yes, and we should get a message. And you've probably noticed that $28 have been deducted in tax. So you can change this in the config. Um, the tax is set at 5% by default, which is really nice. You can either set it at 0% or if you're Valve, 15% and take as much as uh, you want, which is a really cool feature. And obviously if we go back in my shop, it's gone because, well, he's bought it. So uh, yeah, that is pretty much everything for the shops. Uh, I think I've covered everything, so if we uh, go in here we can buy this really nice pickaxe. Yes, we want to buy it. And here we go, we've got a lovely new pickaxe. Uh, the cool thing about this is it saves enchantments, names, uh, NBT data, I believe, um, and other bits and bobs like that. So that's very, very cool. There are a couple of commands, so let's go through that now. So it's global chest shop, uh, which is a long way of doing it, or GCS, the short way. And this will open um, the global chest shop that we have created on these, so very similar. Not the best way of finding your items. I much prefer uh, these shops, which have just a list of players and what they are selling. So yeah, that's how you do that. You can also limit people to how many chess shops they can create in the config. So we'll go into that uh, in a second. There is another command, which is uh, GCS and then buy, and this will pop up with this message. So what we can do, we can put the diamond block in diamond into our hand and do by hand and then it will search for diamonds and we can have a look and see if any of these are for sale and yes, yes they are. Uh, what we can also do is search by uh, typing in an item. So uh, wall, if we type in wall it will pop up with all the walls and we can have a look, see if any of these are for sale and no they're not, not at the moment. Um, so that's really, really cool. And there is also GCS Reload, uh, just in case you made an edit in the config and you want to change it without stopping and starting your server. So um, I believe that is everything. Um, definitely everything in the in-game. So I'm going to hop over to the config file now and show you how to use that. So here we are in the folder, which has these four files. So um, to start with, let's look at the language file. This is the most straightforward. Um, this has all the different uh, text and bits and bobs that you can edit, which is a really nice feature, and you can change the color. So uh, if you notice that 
when I bought something, it came up with bank, you have received blah blah blah, or you have lost this, and other bits and bobs. So you could change this, I wouldn't. Um, you can also use Notepad++ to uh, completely change maybe uh, one color code to another and replace all. That's a cool feature. And down here you can actually um, change the name of various categories. So um, yeah, instead of food, you could, food stuff, you could just change it to food or something. So this is pretty straightforward, let's move on to the next one which is going to be world groups, a very awesome feature which allows you to have uh, different economies in different worlds. So here we have uh, two different groups. These will also uh, share the same economy and these two will share the second economy. And to create a new one, very simple, put a three and add your worlds. Um, so world three and um, what other worlds you'd want to survival one so that's pretty straightforward and yeah it also has bungee cord support as well very very cool and language um, it can be translated into any other language uh, which is very cool auction limits similar to the other one you can uh, edit it via world groups so in one world you might be allowed 60 auctions in another world you might only be allowed five or something depending on how big your server is um, so yeah, that is very cool. And finally, if we go into the main config file, like this, uh, you can see you do need a MySQL database. Um, you can change the colors and what it appears on the shop. So instead of local shop, you could change it to uh, player shop. Instead of global shop, you could change it to um, whatever your server's called, server craft shop, or something more exciting than that. Uh, admin shop could be um, spawn shop because you put these in the spawn and they'd never run out of items so that's very cool you can obviously change the color to whatever you want now down here you can change the item that appears for all items or all shops so by default it's compass but you could change it to um, sponge for some reason or diamond down here you can change what item appears in the GUI um, 160 that is uh, glass pane and colon 14 that is the metadata of it So yeah, be careful with that make sure you do it correctly and you feel right uh, The sell button is the sign do I like that yes lever that might look a bit better Just depends what you want uh, Down here amount of local chess shops per player that was one de by default, but I wanted to create more I would prefer one possibly two not too many um, and finally at the bottom, tax, this is what I mentioned. It's 5% by default. You could set it to 0% uh, or 15% if you are Valve. Um, so yeah, that is the plugin. I think I've covered everything. It's amazing. I would definitely recommend it for your server. Um, it's got so much content with all the uh, different types of shops and ways you can buy and sell, unlimited admin shops, player shops, and all the other kinds of shops and I love how it hooks into um, the citizens plugin holographic displays uh, per world support bungee cord support and other things that I've missed so subscribe like comment and I'll see you next time